You have done what has not been done in centuries. All the parts of the orrery have been placed within the chamber, and Dereneth awaits us below. I must admit to being more than a little excited. I've never seen the orrery operational. Not much. You've done extraordinary work, and just in time for Queen Irene's arrival. Imagine the chance to see the orrery operate. Conservator Dereneth is preparing Queen Irene as we speak. We should really head in there and get started. The ratification ceremony isn't going to perform itself after all. And from what I understand, Conservator Dereneth wanted to speak with you personally. On straight. Preposterous! I'm an Aldmeri Viceriev, an assistant to Prince Naaman himself. Why am I barred from the ceremony? The orrery hasn't been activated in a millennia. It might work splendidly, yes, or it might explode. But I'll speak with Darina if you insist on being present. I... Upon consideration, I suppose I could wait by the door to call for help, should anything go wrong. Little brother, you shouldn't be here for this. Dareneth warned us of the dangers. I won't turn my back on family. My place is in your shadow, as it has always been. I know this can't be easy for you. On the contrary, today the Dominion shall see why a High Elf is fit to lead all of Tamriel. I used to despise your certainty. But today it's... reassuring, oddly enough. Apology accepted. <laughs> I'll make sure everyone clears out, as you requested. But you don't need to be here, Your Highness. I used to sneak in here as a child and climb through the orrery's rungs. Do you think I'd pass up on the chance to see what it actually does? But have no fear. I want you at the outer door. Thank you, Your Majesty. I won't let you down. You never do. Strange to see you after South Point. Not bad, just strange. But no matter. I can hardly believe we're about to breathe some life into this old girl. And before you ask, yes, I'm speaking of the orrery. Almost. You recovered the pieces needed for the orrery's activation, so it's only fair you're here to put them in place. So, 
I should be the one to ask. Are you ready? Good. The first thing you'll need is to take up Rachin's mantle. A god's hands move the orrery, goes the translation. But that's a load of borslop. You simply need to be in three places at once. Rachin's mantle should allow for that. Oh, you'll be all right. That overly earnest fellow from the Mage's Guild. Braylor, was it? He assured me you'd be safe if you wore it for no longer than 90 minutes. Or was it nine? No matter. The ceremony will take five minutes. Maybe six. Approach the pillars beyond the orrery itself. You must activate each in turn while keeping one thought in mind. When you wear Rachin's mantle, you'll never be held in place. From what I understand, it should do the rest. So, this pile of moss and rubble determines the next Emperor? The orrery is ancient. Show some respect! It's working! It's actually working! Here, take hold of the heart of a numeral. Place it in the pillar next to our royal observers. That should do it! Awaken the orrery, whatever that truly means, but have no fear. This contrivance allows me to manipulate its energies. This means I can keep Queen Iren safe when she steps inside. Now go! Place the heart of a numeral. Let's see what all the fuss is about. the Aeliad death trap will tell us if we have an emperor in our midst. Truly a momentous day. Naaman, now is not the time. Iren, there's always time to protect you from yourself. For how could I let you risk your life in this contraption without testing it first, dear sister? When you wear Rotchin's mantle, you'll never be held in place. It's incredible! I can see the white gold tower! No! What's happening to me? Ah! No! You tricked me, sister! It's your fault! All of you! I'll kill you all! Now, oh, the tower is fading. Naaman, what were you thinking? Why? What? No, I... Why would Naaman do this? I made him a part of what we were building. Tried to show him this is about more than just our people. I would have all of Tamriel be our people. What the legend says. It revealed the person within. As it will do to me. Do you think I have a choice in this? I will enter the orrery as I swore to the people of the Aldmeri Dominion. I must learn whether I'm fit to lead them. And if I'm not... If I'm changed, as my brother was, I can't become a danger to the people I've sworn to lead. Do you understand me?
I must not delay. I'm... myself, aren't I? A dominion of peace. The fair and just rule of Tamriel, beneath an old Mary banner. A future I hope to build. And you, standing at my side. Come, help me build the future. I don't intend to tell anyone what my brother did. As far as I'm concerned, he died trying to help me, not usurp my throne. The Staff of Magnus. A powerful object with the ability to suppress magic. Dangerous were it to fall into the wrong hands. Luckily, we already possess it. Go to Marbrook in Eastern Greenshade. Speak to Captain Sarandil about securing the staff. I'll follow soon after. We heard sounds of battle. What happened? There was an accident. My brother gave his life to protect us. He died a hero. I... I don't... I will soon go to Marbrook. Vice Reeve Peladil, I want you to travel ahead with my brother's body. You will make the funeral arrangements. Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. I understand. Spare no expense for his funeral. All in the Dominion are welcome. All may pay their respects to a hero. At once, your majesty. I don't intend to tell anyone what my brother did. As far as I'm concerned, he died trying to help me, not usurp my throne. I had my doubts about Queen Irene. Not after today. Travel well, my friend. What happened to Prince Naaman was a tragedy. I hope that sounds believable. I'll be saying it for the rest of my days. Is this really happening? I don't know what you mean. You must have seen. You arrived near the end of it. The Queen says her brother died a hero, so that's what I saw. Do all you Vine Dusk Rangers learn to ignore the truth? We learn that leadership is messy, and because royalty must grieve in public, we learn not to judge. Perhaps you're right. I don't want to think of the outcome had you not been here. You kept the King safe. You will always be welcome among the Vine Dusk Rangers. This wasn't supposed to happen here. Today should have been a celebration, but instead... Instead, none of this officially happened. We've observed your travels through Grotwood, and have need of your particular talents. 
Leopold, we've observed your travels through Grotwood and have need of your particular talents. Our eyes have been watching you. They've been fixed upon you since you entered the Reliquary of Stars. I'm privileged to be a Vine Dusk Ranger. We report directly to King Camoran Eridon, ruler of the Wood Elves. We protect his rule against all threats, without or within. It's been a year since the Grotwood Civil War ended, and the Black Sap Rebellion still operates in a city called Cormount, northeast of here. With your help, the Vine Dusk can end the rebellion. If you agree, I'll open a portal to a secure location. Give me a moment to open the portal. There you go. Quickly now, enter the portal. The portal transfer Good. is complete. So we've been expecting. You're in no danger here, friend. Come, let us speak. Cormount is where the Black Sap Rebellion began. With your help, Cormount will be where it ends. The Vine Dusk Rangers need you to flush out the Black Sap leaders. Killing them will only fuel the flames of rebellion. They must be brought into custody. After General Andare broke their backs, we pacified the remnants of the Black Sap. Every rebel in Grotwood knows our faces. But not yours. Your anonymity allows you to get close and capture their leaders. Goranir is strong as an ox and just as proud. His brother Lorchan seems to have more eyes in Grotwood than we do. Both are sons of Gelthior, cousin to King Camoran Eridon, traitor to his people, and the prisoner for whom this place was built. <laughs> Nothing we didn't know already. Gelthior is the king's cousin, so we're forbidden from using harsher methods. More's the pity. If you care to question him yourself, do so before you leave. You won't return here unless his sons are in hand. Meet with Trethane Eardell, our agent in Cormount. It took months, but she identified locals connected to the Black Sap. She'll get you started. Once you've departed, Farinor will seal the portal. None must know we're holding Gelthior at this location. Or that he's alive, for that matter. I've spent much of the past year as caretaker here, but I'll answer as best I can. We needed a place where none could find Gelthior, so we dug out a remote alien ruin, set up this prison, and then caved in the entrance. The only way in or out is through Farinor's portals. So to answer your question, we're nowhere. We barely won the Civil War. Gelthior would sit the throne if Queen Irene hadn't answered our call for aid. Once we'd captured the leader of the Black Sap, we knew we couldn't risk his escape. So we brought him here, to this hole in the ground. We'll hold them here until King Camoran Eridon says otherwise. If the heroes of the Black Sap vanish forever, their followers have nothing to rally behind. Then rebellion fades to memory, and we all get to live on with our lives. The King is responsible for his own people, so it falls to the King's soldiers to handle all local matters. But just in case the Black Sap get any ideas, Dominion camps are stationed just outside of Cormount. Training maneuvers, they call it. You hear that, Gelthior? It's the last of your rebellion collapsing upon itself. Come to mock the rightful King of the Wood Elves. Go on then, have your fun. Not answer me, you traitorous dog? You aren't one of Mayros killers, that's clear. Ask your questions. Since his ascension to the throne, the King's attempts to renew our lands shows how soft he is on the Green Pact. My people need a ruler who understands the ancient compacts aren't to be discarded. As second in line to the throne, it fell to me. Our ancient compact with Ifre brought splendor to the Wood Elf people. Yet this King's own Vindusk Rangers are exempt. I've seen them eat roots from the ground. Disgusting. When the people call for justice, I had no choice. Of course I did. How better to reaffirm the Green Pact, to keep the High Elves out of Grapwood? But General Indari ended the Black Sap when she slaughtered us at Cormount. 
I fear my sons can't see that rebellion is over. It's why I hope you capture them. The Dominion's great hero, a traitor, and you to have stopped her? If this is true, my sons would know. If you can convince the Black Sap you ended the Jade Butcher's reign of terror, you can get close enough to my sons to capture them. If the full weight of the Dominion gets involved in a local rebellion, my people will suffer. I'd rather use the Dominion's tools against them. A public trial will show our cause to be just, but only if my sons still live. If Lord John knows I'm alive, he'll come peacefully. He's pragmatic and not the type to waste his life for a lost cause. Gorinir is another matter. He's not the type to kill you outright, but step lightly. He's very proud, that one. Say the word, and I'll open a portal to Cormount. Once you pass through, it will seal behind you. If you have anything to do before you leave, now is the time. I'm the Vindusk's master of portals. I've spent most of my life studying their magical intricacies. I've developed my own types of portals, the kind which can't possibly be traced. Without my expertise, none of this will be possible. As you may have encountered, all throughout... I could just spit. It doesn't matter if you think you saw an Arthurus eat a potato. I can't do anything without proof. Thank you, Trethane. I won't have my good name sullied by this fanatic. A year ago, we'd have buried him up to his neck for blasphemy. Enough. I've given my ruling. Now, both of you, please get on with your lives. I don't want to hear any more of this. Yes? How can I help you? I'm sorry you had to witness that. I knew Cormant's citizens were zealous about the Green Pact, but sometimes they go hunting for trouble. Yes, Farina said I'm to support you in tracking down Gelthior's sons. We'll start with Lorchon, the Black Sap spymaster. If we capture him first, his brother Gorinir will be without eyes. And before you ask, I lost it in the war. The Black Sap Rebellion started here. It won't surprise you to learn Cormount citizens provide food and gold to the remnants. They use special phrases to arrange meetings. If you know the phrases, you can get to the remnants. The phrases change weekly. Definitely the work of Lorchon. Lucky for you, I've done the scut work. 
You'll find this week's phrases in the journal next to me. I leave it to you to work out which ones to use. The Black Sap protects its own. I can't imagine they'll be happy. You'll see a list of known sympathizers in the journal. Approach them and use the right phrase to set up a meeting with Lorchon. Find me when you're done. Everything should be in the journal. Be careful. Cormant has been crawling with Black Sap. You fought the agents of Merun's Dagon and won. The savior of Berthold. husband spends so much time with his books. I can never pull him away, especially when it's time to hunt. That's strange. I haven't seen a peeper around here in quite some time. That's true. Say, do you know why the peeper's skin is red? You're a new face. What do you want? Head to the butcher's ground. He'll be there when he's ready. We won't speak again. Have you secured a meeting with Lorchan? Of course. It's where General Andare cut down most of their forces. The Jade Dragoons struck at night, from all directions. The Black Sap never stood a chance. They tried to surrender, but General Andare had ordered her soldiers to cleanse the area. Seems the Jade Dragoons always follow orders. No good reason, I'm sure of it. But we don't have a choice. If Lorchon shows up, you'll need to capture him. Here. These were Galthior's rings. His sons will recognize them immediately. As soon as Lorchon puts it on, he'll be transported to the hidden prison. One of Farina's more devious enchantments. He's still calling himself that? The boy needs a hobby. He once proposed we use his portals to send the contents of our latrine into a black sap camp. The perfect distraction, he said. We called him the Master of Privies for a month. We need Lorchon and his brother. See if you can get him to talk about where Gorinir is hiding. You have a ring for each brother. Once you've captured them both, Farina will find you. And if we don't meet again, it's been an honor. Now back to my mind-numbing duties. Good luck out there.
I see my black sap are no match for you. Every night since the massacre, I've dreamt of the horrors the Jade Butcher brought to Cormount. It seems fitting to meet the one who brought her to justice on the very spot she slew the black sap. I wonder, will I have nightmares of you? Are you? I admit, I'm not one for direct confrontation. That's more Gorinir's style. I've long preferred to fade into the background. Which I'll do, unless you have anything of value to say. Alive? He's been missing for the better part of the year. Everyone thought him dead. I've long suspected he lives and have an inkling of who holds him. Tell me the name of his jailer and I'll know if you speak the truth. I see. Very well, I wish to turn myself in. Take me to my father. If he's alive, I must speak with him. The Black Sap Rebellion needed my family to begin, and now it lives in the heart of the people. It will flourish in time. But I'd rather be at my father's side when it happens. I did surrender, yes? Shall we be off? My brother is in a cave on the other side of Cormount. Good luck reaching him. He has many soldiers at his command, and he's not much for talking before acting. And you should hurry before he sets his plan in motion. As I said, he's not much for talking, sometimes not even to me. I do know how much he loathes the Jade Butcher, and that he wants to repay the Dominion in kind. I told you where to find Gorinir. Now take me to my father. To identify me as your prisoner, so the vine dust don't kill me on sight? Very well. I'm ready to go when you are. How unexpected. Now, pull him through. Oh, if only you could see yourself. You're covered in it. It's your fault leaving me behind. Now be quiet. We need to find more kin.
Magister Irin never let me watch him do this. It's so interesting. Stand down! If the intruder made it here, you'll be just another notch on the scabbard! Are you with the Vine Dusk Rangers? The Justiciars? The Fighters Guild? It doesn't matter. I know why you're here. Justice! Queen Iren invaded our land and killed our people! All in the name of the False King Camoran Eridon! The only justice is in the soil, where her jade butcher slaughtered our people. And now, that very soil will rise up to take back what is rightfully ours! Our constructs already rise to take back Cormount. Those who follow the Green Pact will see the forest rise against the Dominion invaders. Fitting revenge for the jade butcher's work. Ifray's children loathe the outsiders who pick away at the green. Until the Black Saps sit on the throne in Elden Root, Grotwood itself will rise against the invaders. They weep for Gelthior. The death of my father drove them to this. You can't stop anything. It has already begun. The Dominion camps will know the pain and fear General Andare brought us one long bloody year ago. I only regret one thing. I hope to end the Jade Butcher myself, to honor the memory of my father. Zeiss! Our best sorcerer spent a year searching for any sign of him. But there's no trace. My father is dead. It's my father's ring. I, I took it from his bedroom when I was a child. When he found out, he boxed my ears. This proves nothing. Only that you may have slain my father before you came for me. You have Lorchon as well? It doesn't matter. The Dominion camps will fall to our construct, and the people will rise behind the Black Sap. I won't listen to your lies about my family. All right. Leave me to my father. A trick!
Black Sap are finished. We're at the West Bridge. Come, join Anyone us. Anyone else? Our hero returns. For Rhino, open a portal. Meroth wants to speak with our friend. Yes, ma'am. Well done. You fought like a Vindusk Ranger. With Gelthior's sons in custody, the Black Sap is dead. Perhaps Cormant will finally be at peace. Meroth wants to speak with you. I've opened a portal. Step through whenever you're ready. Goronir, stop your relentless pacing. Your tongue, it's giving me a headache. Your lack of commitment is the reason we're here. If you won't stop bickering, I'll gag you both. Ha, ah, come in. Good work out there. The Black Sap are leaderless and their attack was blunted thanks to your quick work. Cormant will heal in time. We'll keep them here until the King says otherwise. Better they're thought missing than known to be alive or dead. The Black Sap leadership won't know what to do. Agreed. They're traitors. And traitors deserve no sympathy. They'd spend the rest of their days in this hole if I had any say. Here, a little present. I can't make you a vine dust ranger, but I can give you something to show you're an honorary member. They represent the King's Trust, knowing we uphold the Green Pact, despite our exemption from it. You've more than earned it. You call this justice? The Vine Dusk used you just as the Dominion used them. You've done nothing but tighten the grasp with tyranny on Grotwood. Do you have any wine? If I'm to spend the rest of my days in this hole, I think I'll develop a drinking problem. The King won't keep us here forever. For all his flaws, my cousin believes himself to be a just man. He can't leave us here to rot. <laughs> 